Yeah, this map, I don't... Have we played this uh, in the Pug... I don't think we've played this in the Pug so far. I don't think we have. Thanks! But I'm, uh... I'm excited Very about sense. it. It should be pretty fast. It should be pretty clustery. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to see a lot of really fast back to front caps or not, uh, just because they take so long to set up and they're still pretty snipeable on this one. But I would expect just a ton of clustering and seconds. some shield host CG spam it. Oh, for sure. And I'm thinking Ten probably seconds. some back to fronts. Like, I, I hear what you're saying with the setups. Like, there's definitely some fast setups Five, back there. But four, all right, let me go through three, the teams really fast Inferno, begins, Psycho Cow, Hybrid, now. Larsoc, Psylocke, EFX, Boot, Nems, Devil. And on Storm Team, we have Exogen, Soapy, Saki, Nips, Thane, Momo, Titan Slinger, and Hunter Girl. I would also expect that if a Ho gets lodged inside this base, he's going to be really hard to get out. Oh yeah, I imagine it's going to be one of those things where they're just going to stay put and just camp it. Yeah, this is so weird. Inferno team with storm <laughs> skins on. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know. I turned off my personal skins and it's it's working. Okay. Uh, we've got on storm side. We have Thane Hoffing, and it looks like Nips is playing uh, MD or sort of a ranging farmer sort of thing. Oh, first grab right there. That is Exogen, medium armor. Kind of a good choice if you ask me for this map. Uh, sniped out right on the flag Team stand, Storm. and that's the first cap for Storm. Storm. And that's exactly why medium is a great choice here, is that this is a very snipe-friendly map, but it's also a short one, so you're not missing the speed as much. Precisely. And this is another boot is going down midfield. This is probably going to get returned. He's got plenty of uh, people clustering around this. Oh, for sure. Hey viewers out there, I hate to do this. I'm gonna exit out and join back in really fast. I just the the whole skin thing is messing me up. Hope I'm not missing too much right now. All you lovely viewers, you should also be able to see the server password. Jump in here, have fun with us. Let me make fun of you. <laughs> I'm sure it'll go easy on you. If it's your first time. Yeah, I try to be nice. Rooster tells me to be mean to people, and I'm like, I don't have a mean bone in my body. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh -huh. I have never been negative or sarcastic in my life. <laughs> Good grab by Devil. He takes a snipe on the stand, and he's, ooh, barely missed somebody at midfield. Yeah, that was close oh, right there. there. Quarter health. Yeah, he's just trying to pass it off right close to the base. Probably good kick right there. You grip a Titan Slinger. That's a great heads up play from him. I love seeing it. Devil now with the flag around three quarters health. He's coming in with a cat, and it's a cat. Teams are tied. I like it. I think I saw a beat, a uh, boot TK uh, Devil right there or something. Did you see that? I did not see it. Boot getting this to so, that was a grab from Titan Slinger being sniped right away, but still, still alive. Deciding to pass his flag, the flag off near his base, but rolls downhill. Is returned by Devil. Great return by Dev there. Yeah, yeah it's kind of tricky. Sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was going to say some. Definitely what you're saying about cluster play is uh, definitely happening right now. Uh, Nems yeah. with the flag for Inferno. Uh, Nems is a returning player, I believe, from... I'm going to imagine from Ireland if uh, scores. he's uh, friends with Devil. But uh, he was capping it there in Ho and heavy offense, and he was able to bring it back up. So nice play for someone just returning. I didn't think about heavy capping, but that is a really good option for that kill. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you can spam and then decide to make that option to a uh, cap TD. Just a handful of DJs will get you back up the other hill, so you can throw it off to friendly LD. And on that note, um, something I saw Titan Slinger do earlier is he sort of threw the flag and then it just slid right back down the hill. Exactly. It's sort of like EX, where you want to be just slightly counterintuitive. You, you kind of want to get up that side if you have to throw the flag, as opposed to going straight home. 
it's, again, to steal the map quote from DX, the safest route is not necessarily the safest. Oh, the, the fastest route is not the safest? Yeah, sorry. The safest is not the safest. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> may or may not be on like four hours of sleep again. This is going to be an interesting cast. No worries. I'm just going to taunt you until you turn to an asshole again. Yeah, again, no negativity in the Tribes 2 realm. At no, all. Not at all. Definitely join. All definitely three of you. No sarcasm at all either. We don't have a use for sarcasm. This is a serious game, you know, in its 20th year. <laughs> So it's nice grab from Devil, he passed it off to his team. Um, they should be able to cap this as long as they're able to maintain control of their stand, which at the moment doesn't look up. There it is. Them's with the uh, pickup and the cap. So now it's uh, yeah. Inferno up 3 to 1. A lot of clustering, and I'm looking at the storm side flag. I'm seeing long range spam coming from the Inferno side. I see a couple of snipes. I only see one inventory station deployed. Um, and I'm seeing some land spikes, but those are being put out by Thane, so he's no longer running as Hoff. And I don't know if that's like a desperation attempt, if they can't keep the Hoff up so they're switching to a more mobile defense or, or what, but it could be a sign that this map isn't quite going the way Storm wants it to. Another solid grab by Devil, he's out clean, not even taking a snipe on his way out. Yeah, perfect health right now, decides to take this jump. He uh, repairs, he's at three quarters. Back at his flag stand already. The... What was that? It's a good pressure at the stand from Saki and uh, SJ Light, which is a classic cluster loadout. Saki really likes running that. And uh, yeah, he puts it to good use. This is a good e-grab by uh, Exogen. Runs into the boundary a little bit, so he's not long for the world, but the e-grab did its job. Not bad. He, I think that was a good play going wide right there, since all the action was happening in the center. But yeah, he did hug that old B-grid a little bit. Yeah, but he pulled it out. I, I, I got away as well as he did. Yeah, now Saki oh, got it. Wow, nice. Here. I'm not sure who that was against, but uh, that was sick. I think that might have been Nems, maybe? Yeah, I think that was Nems. It's all that lack rabbit practice that uh, he was getting before this. This pug started. Oh, for sure. Now Thane opting to hold the flag in heavy armor. It took a few snipes, but was able to repair. Um, he's probably looking for friendly support right now, maybe an inventory station, but uh, right now he's holding off uh, LO. He, uh, maybe he chained down. I'm not sure he chained down there. My filter message is being wonky right now. <laughs> yeah, they got picked off, so I didn't see the name either. Um, yeah, so like I said, if a heavy offense gets buried in that base, he's really hard to dig out. But I don't think turtling inside the base works necessarily as well. Because if you can get inside sneakily, you can just rain conks and then GL down in order to uh, to kill the carrier in pretty short order, or at least to get the flag off of him. So it's it's one of those things where it benefits the offense a little more than the defense. Oh, that was a good mortar on Thane. His flag is on the ground. Return. And Inferno had hardly any pressure right there for uh, capping that flag. For a while there, I saw Psycho Cow holding the flag in light armor with a repair pack repairing himself without any support around. It was kind of interesting. Not to be, uh, you know, not to uh, crap on people. Because <laughs> no, we don't know. Do it. It's. It's a good indicator of the kind of pressure Inferno was getting, though, where you had one of the best players, Thane, holding in heavy shields, and he managed to lose the flag compared to what's going on on the other side. So it seems from what you're saying there that uh, Inferno just needs to work on their their coordination, or Storm side needs to work on their uh, offensive coordination. I think so, yeah. Because I'd, I'd say, like, both teams, it doesn't seem like either team is really putting a farm up right now, which makes sense, like, first game of the night, maybe everyone's just kind of warming up still. There's actually, um, I mean, it seems like it's a blowout, but it's not as bad as other first maps we've seen. Yeah, Tribes is tricky. Like, if you're only looking at the scoreboard, you're never going to get the real picture of how close most of these games are, because so much of Tribes is decided in tiny split second, does the shot work or does it not? So, 4-1 looks bad, but it's actually been pretty close by these teams. And for sure. Inferno, or I'm sorry, Stormside could very easily make some adjustments on offense and turn the whole thing around. 
Like there, I'm pretty sure Saki grabbed the flag more or less alone, and then he passed one of his HO on his way out. But you really want that to be the opposite, where the HO arrives at the flag stand, clears it off, Capper gets out perfectly and clean. So again, it's just this tiny bit of miscoordination, and uh, this whole match turns around if you get rid of that. I'd say it's a little bit, of, yeah, exactly as you're saying, a little bit of coordination, um, just using your voice comms and potentially using buddy points. I know that some people frown on that, but I honestly think that's one of the most useful scripts in this game, that you can waypoint your friendlies and see exactly where they are. I definitely yeah, use I'm all for, character. Yeah, I'm all for anything that's legal, use it in pugs, uh, besides Q-Fire, because uh, fuck Q-Fire. Yeah, fuck Q-Fire. <laughs> but like, so many of those things, like O-Sniping or whatever, totally fine in a pug. This is competition. This is the place for that. Ooh. It's oh, where the... Oh, Boot no. Boot just missed the flag. What are you doing, Boot? Oh, that's Boot. Oh, don't taunt the man. No, he gives me shit all the time for missing the flag stands. Like, he deserves it. <laughs> he was he was really hard on himself during Ski Free, so... Oh, he was? No, I feel bad. Yeah, that one, man. It's alright, he knows I'm not serious. He's clear on the Inferno side, but it, there's no pickup until three seconds later, which is plenty of time for the LD to sort of calm down, reset, and look. Hybrid just uh, chained down Titan Slinger. Yeah, so we got a few uh, names in here. We got Hybrid and, and uh, EFX coming back, FX coming back. I uh, was able to tell him that this was going on, and hopefully Gunna joins him too as well. I know FX and Gunna are uh, pretty good friends. So hopefully getting some more, uh, more talent in here. Yeah, you have much better luck at asking new veterans, or veterans to come back than I do. It. Yeah, Not no, that I'm competitive about that or anything, but... I have no such luck with Anthem or Bubble Trout, but oh well. Yeah, they're the ones who really matter. So keep working, Rooster. I find that um, I'm the person who uh, annoys most players anyway, so I might as well just stay true to form and keep on annoying people. <laughs> wow, this is the truth. going on a while. Yeah, we've got Thane and Hybrid holding. Makes sense with Thane and Hybrid. Yeah, and again with the heavy shield uh, is what Hybrid is holding in. I don't know about Thane, but see, I would have expected medium shield because this is a pretty open map, and it's you can you tend to be able to escape a lot of pressure a little easier in medium oh, I shield. I think that was it. Uh, Thane was actually holding a medium shield, and he got taken out. He was uh, actually Demon trying Burnout to set up a stars. deployable inventory in a farm. Uh, Retro is asking. Think... Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, that again sounds like people not playing the way they want, but playing the way they have to. So yeah, I would say if Storm doesn't start making some adjustments, this map's not going to get any better for him. I was almost holding for Storm, he was taken out, and that's a return from FX. Uh, Retrofer is asking me to uh, watch the Storm, the Storm side a little bit, see what's going on. Here, let's... Uh, let's watch carnage, this. Carnage is what's going on, Red. Right? Yeah, right. Inferno. That's a nice cluster from Storm, just wasn't able to return the, return the flag. Hey, so yeah. welcome. Yeah, take your time. There's a pug going on now, so we'll definitely get you in. Titan Slinger now with the flag from uh, for Storm team. Very low health, but he's able to get back to his side. He needs to have his support running out to him there, but uh, there's a pickup from Nips. Oh, he's getting dangerously close to the edge there. He's all alone away from the spawn points. Sort of an underrated aspect of holding a flag on a map like this is staying near where your team spawns. That exactly. way you've always got reinforcements. It's real sketchy when you get on the wrong side of this tower here because you're just so far away from your team. So but Thane has a flag for now. Sorry. Sorry about that. No, no. Uh, I was going to say they got a return. Thane was actually repairing at the time, so he was as far away as he could be. Once again, he's putting out an inventory station. The guy holding the flag shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, I've actually I got yelled at a few times during a draft for doing that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're holding the flag, you have one job, which is don't mayog it. And uh, putting out an inventory station is sad. But, hey, if anyone can do it, they can do it. <laughs> Oh, absolutely, yeah. 
And, and that's not a critique of Thane. That's I'm saying that that's a good indicator of problems on the team that a player like Thane is having to work outside of the norms in order to make things work is a sign that the team strategy needs to be just slightly tweaked, slightly adjusted. Maybe he needs closer support from his defense. That redshifter was saying, oh, I see the problem. The guy with the flag is trying to farm. <laughs> yeah, potentially. Lots of mortars here on the storm flag right now, but again, I don't see a capper here to exploit. There's good clearance, just not the coordination I'd like. There it is. Uh, Devil with the flag for Inferno team, uh, pretty much full health, takes a disc jump right there. Hardly any pressure though. Not much chase or anything. I don't see any chain down this one for Ooh, wow. That was That's another clutch. good E grab from Saki. And. Yeah, he was ah, able to. Fight he was able to disc double right down as well, putting the team yeah. on his back. Oh, and Thane got the return, but Saki got missiled there. No flares. Inferno so flag the flag is, is still down here. Yep, in the pit. As well as, uh, right. Well, that was returned. The storm flag is now in the pit. And that is picked up from Silo. Down, down. There's a return. I'm stumbling on you. I'm sorry. No worries. I'm stumbling on you. You're the one who's, uh,. The other one who understands this stuff better than me, I'm just a simpleton. You say that, but I've been wrong like four times already. <laughs> It'd be interesting to hear if what your what your theory is is uh, actually true with uh, the coordination. Psycho well, I will say... No, go ahead. Psycho Cow is holding the flag with an elf. Okay, yeah, we were going to say the same thing there. Uh, I don't <laughs> like seeing elf guns in competition. Um, you only have three slots as a light. You really want to be doing damage with all of them. Yep, and you can... I mean, uh, it's good to zap player energy. Of course, that's like the main sticking point of the elf, but in Classic, scores. you can reach speeds where energy consumption doesn't really matter so much. Like, you can take yeah, one uh, disc jump and be out of there, regardless of whether you have energy or not. And that's exactly the problem. If somebody, if you're elfing someone and they DJ in front of you, and the time it takes you to switch to a weapon you can shoot them with, they will be out of the range of that weapon unless it's a sniper rifle. So it's not to say that elf is completely trash, it's just other weapons are probably going to be more effective for you there. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. Like, elf definitely has its uses, like finding cloakers and stuff, exactly. but... Uh, in the open field, the mine disc is has the same range as an elf, and it'll stop somebody a little faster than the elf gun will. Like, so it's always my recommendation. Exactly. It's gonna say stop them cold in their tracks versus uh, you know, just being in a minor annoyance. Don't drain their energy. Drain their will to live. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well put. Oh, this heavy cap gets shut down right on the hill. Sweet return by Nim. So that was solid on route and a heavy. And speaking on route, Devil had a nice side route there. I think he's going to be able to... Ooh, he flies over the flex stand. It's all good. They're able to make mistakes like this right now and get away with it. Ooh, nice uh, line disc right there from him. And that is a cap, 9-2. to two. Definitely. See, and Nims played nice and patient here. He spammed the top side a little bit. As soon as that flag capped, he moved in, grabbed it in heavy E-pack, and he's back home. I uh, opted to pass it off to another teammate. I guess he's uh, opted to uh, stay on the flag as well. Victory. Impromptu Hoffman. That's game. 10 to 2. Inferno wins.